So this Slimming Yoga sequence will be an overall comprehensive sequence. We are going to focus on all major muscles and then the joints strengthening, toning and then followed by against the gravity. At the very end, we will do some stretching postures so you don't feel very tight or rigid with your body after the practice. Okay, remember to breathe normally during the sequence, during the pose and uh, go with my flow when I give you instructions about inhale and exhale. Just try to follow that breathing pattern. Okay, keep the legs apart, close your palms, make a fist. Let's begin with shoulder rotation 10 times. Please. Bring the arms close to the ears, up, back and down 10 times. Reverse movement, arms down, back, up, close to the ears, 10 times. Feel the rotation of the shoulders. Relaxed effort. Okay, take a deep breath one time. Deep breath again. Forward and backward, please. Bring the arms to the front and back. For now, breathe normally, right hand up once, left hand up once, right hand up, left hand up. Exhale, exhale, exhale back, exhale back. Relax. Now follow me with this breathing as well. Keep your feet parallel. Don't bend forward. We inhale, raise arms up. As we forcefully exhale, swing the arms down. Inhale up, exhale, inhale up. Exhale, inhale up, exhale, inhale up, exhale, inhale up, exhale. Very good. Twisting left and right 10 times, please. Right exhale, left exhale, right exhale, left exhale, right exhale, left exhale, right. Two more, please. Okay, relax. Now again, all these warm-ups are going to be a dynamic sequence just to get the blood circulation moving to all different parts of your body. Again, watch your feet parallel, please. Let's begin with the lateral stretch, a bit of dynamic movement. Inhale, right hand up. Then to the left side. As we inhale, left hand up. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Inhale, 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 last one, relax, take a deep long breath again, one more deep long breath again, okay, now we do the triangle pose, a little more dynamic movement, legs apart wider, elbow width apart, Slowly fold forward, bend from the hips. Inhale, then move to the left side, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's go left and right 10 times. Exhale left, exhale right. Exhale left, exhale right. Just keep a steady momentum. Now, it doesn't have to be a very fast swing. Just keep a flow. Exhale into the twist, exhale into the twist. Three more times, one, two and three relax place your palms down just drop your head relax your body to the gravity for a few breaths deep breath bend your knees and slowly come back up deep breathing here one more long breath. Keep your legs closer. Now we are going to do the Mandalasana. You can watch me for one round. You see I turn right side, slowly go down, and then slowly turn left side as you come. Right, this is another version of Mandalasana. Let's go. Twist to the right side, slowly go forward, down, and then touching the floor, come to the left side, and slowly come back up. Keep the movement in a steady flow. To the right, forward, 
left and come up keep your knees straight as much as you can right forward left and come up you're using the back muscles to go down slowly and then again the back muscles to come up slowly let's do three more rounds to the right one keep the breathing two and three keep your eyes open don't hold your breath let's stop here for a long breath one time long breath one more time now let's do the reverse now inhale as we exhale please go slowly here and keep your spine longer into the movement to the left down right up left extend your torso longer down extend longer to the right come up extend longer to the left down extend more to the right come up longer to the left down to the right and up last one please and extend come back out relax take a deep breath again if you are near the wall let's move near the wall let's do a leg swing for 10 times touching the wall make sure you are not moving the body upper body remains still so you go forward backward 10 times let's go try not to move your torso as high as possible forward as much as you can backward so three four five six seven eight nine and ten relax take a long deep breath one time one more deep breath switch switch sides please go left leg one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten relax okay next one keeping the legs wider elbow with a palm these are really good posture to actually tone up your back muscles it also strengthens your glutes and thighs the quads but focus on keeping the back as long and straight as possible inhale raise arms up don't arch the lower back exhale fold from the hips forward keep your body parallel to the floor now breathe in breathe out to the right side and hold extend your torso to the right breathe in forward breathe out to the left side hold please keep it strong breathe in forward breathe out to the right side again hold it keep it strong extend your body forward inhale to the front exhale to the left side hold again keep lengthening the spine longer inhale forward exhale to the right side see if you can hold for 10 counts one two three four extend your torso more five six seven chest down eight nine and ten come to the front let's do the left side ten counts one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10 inhale forward let's stay here for 10 9 8 extend your torso 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 palms down you drop your head down relax to the gravity for a few breaths
slowly bend your knees, come back out, relax. Legs closer, deep breathing. Now let's move on to the sun salutation. We will be doing some variations in the sun salutation. Follow me step by step. If you can't continuously flow with the sequence, you can always rest, sit down, do some alternate nostril breathing. If you can, continue to practice with us. Come forward to the mat. Keep your legs apart. Inhale and raise arms up. Extend your torso as we exhale, fold forward. The right leg back to the floor. Keep the right knee straight, looking forward. Then palms down, left leg back, come to the plank pose. Keep your neck in line with the spine. Yes, knees down, chest and chin to the floor. Shoulders squeeze up. Slide forward with your elbows slightly bent, cobra pose. Inhale, exhale and come up to the plank pose again. Keeping the arms straight, elbows pointing sideways. Bring the right leg forward, come to the high lunge pose. Your left leg forward, standing forward bend. Inhale and raise arms up. Then exhale to the prey pause. Very good. Let's repeat this with some variations now. Inhale and raise arms up. Exhale and fold from the hips forward. Bring the right leg back to the floor, but keep the right knee straight. And just look forward slightly ahead in the floor. Bring your left leg back. Come to the plank pose. Chest muscles active, shoulders strong. Knees down, chest and chin down. Inhale to the cobra. Tuck the toes back in. Come to the plank pose again. Bring the right leg forward between the palms. Keep the left leg straight. Come to the standing forward fold, palms down, drop your head. Inhale and raise arms up, exhale to the prey posture. Let's go slowly a few more rounds. Inhale and raise arms up, exhale and bend forward. Bring the right leg back to the floor, but right knee straight. This time, arms open wider, come up. Chest up, come. Now inhale, exhale and twist to the right side, but keep your heel off the floor, right side. Then inhale, exhale and twist to the left side. Let's go again. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right side, keeping the back straight. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left side. See if your chest can face left side. Palms on the floor, come to the plank pose, deep breath, slowly turn to the left side, raise your left hand up to the plank, hold for five seconds, one, two, three, four, five. Bring your left hand down, slowly right hand up, hold the plank for five seconds, keep up, one, two, three, four, and five. Both palms down, knees, chest and chin down. Heart pose. Slide forward to the cobra again. It doesn't have to be a very deep arch. Just chest forward, slightly chin up. Tuck the toes back in, come to the plank pose again. Keep it strong. Right hand in the center. One more time. Raise the left hand up. Go for five, four, three, hip up, two, and one. Left hand down, right hand up. Go for it. Hip up higher. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Both hands down. Now bring your right leg forward, keeping the back knee straight. Arms open wider, come to the high lunge warrior pose. Breathe in, breathe out and twist to the right side. Breathe in, breathe out, slowly twist to the left side. One more time. Breathe in, breathe out, twist to the right side. Breathe in, breathe out, twist to the left. Last one time, breathe in, breathe out, twist to the right. More twisting, more twisting. Breathe in, breathe out to the left, hold it. Palms on the floor, slowly come up. Standing forward bend. Raise arms up, inhale. Exhale to the prey posture. Relax. Arms down, deep breath twice. One more time. One more time. So how are you feeling? So far okay? Very good. So keep the breathing regular smooth. Don't hold your breath. Anytime if you feel your body getting tired, you're running short of breath, sit down, just keep the pose, right? But try your best first. Legs wider, please. Legs wider, you see how my heels are slightly inside my knees. The legs are not too far out. Heels are slightly inside my knees. Try, this really activates a lot of dormant muscles in your legs. Really helps you to tone up your thighs, glutes, arms forward. Inhale, as we exhale, raise the heels up for 10 seconds. Lower the lunge a little more, heels up, hold it. 10, nine, heels higher, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Come back out. Relax. Now most of these postures are more into transition. What you do is you hold one foundation pose, then you transition in and out of the pose, challenging the muscles that are already been working very intensely in this pose. In that way, you are actually increasing the strength, the muscle tone, as you repeat in and out, the more repetitions you do, you also increase the mass of your muscle. Right, let's do one more variation now. This time we don't raise the heels. Feet stay flat. Turn the feet out as much as you can balance. Arms open wider. Breathe in. As we breathe out, chair pose first. Half seated. Inhale, arms open. Exhale, right hand touch the floor left hand up stay here constantly expand the knees wider very good inhale up exhale left hand touch the floor right hand up come on keep it strong strengthens your hips tones up your legs one last time exhale to the right side five four three two one last one Exhale to the left side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back out and relax. Very good. Give small circles. Reverse. Relax. Deep breath as much as you can. One more deep breath. Okay. Legs apart wider. Now we are just going to work on the muscles of your obliques, the side of your glutes to strengthen, increase the tone of this muscle. 
Breathe in, slightly lean to the left. 10 times, right knee touching the right elbow. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe out one, two. Is your knee coming up to touch the elbow? Three, four, five, six, seven. The arms stay up there. Eight, nine. Now we hold it for five seconds. 10, hold it, five, four, body straight, three, two, and one, relax. Deep breath again. One more deep breath. Okay, let's do the other side. Again, focus on the obliques, the hip muscle, the side of your glutes, part of your IT band attachment. Ready? Breathe in, breathe out, touch, one, breathe in, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, now let's hold for five seconds. Hold it. One, two, three, chest up, four, and five. Relax. Long deep breath again. One more long deep breath. Great. Okay. Now we do a small sequence that is like a modification of your high plank, low plank. Instead of coming up to the upward facing dog, we go directly into the sitting back on the feet. Watch me first before you do it. The only thing is, if you can't push up, you can slightly push backward, right? So watch me, how I'm standing on my knees. Usually we tend to arch the back here. So don't arch the back. We try and keep your back flat, engaging the abdomen. So here we start from, this is the understanding of high plank. Then we go forward into a low plank, but don't arch the lower back. Then you push back like this. Ready? High plank, low plank, and push back for 10 counts. 10 times we do it. Make sure when you go down, don't let the chin touch the floor. You need to stay parallel to the floor and then push back. Ready? Let's go. High plank. Knees and feet apart. Engage your abdomen. You can even move your arms slightly back towards your knees. Inhale. Engage your abdomen as you exhale. Go forward. Stay parallel. Stay parallel. And push back to come up. Pause for a breath. Inhale. Exhale forward. Hold. Little forward. And push back. Watch your lower back from arching too much. Watch your shoulders from going below the elbows. Try to stop the shoulder. Same line with your elbows. Inhale. As we exhale, go forward. Down parallel. Hold it. And push back. Inhale, exhale, go forward, go lower, stay for three, two, one, and push back. Another three times. If your arms are getting very tired, you can sit back in the child pose. Others follow me. Inhale, exhale, go forward, lower, stay there, and push back. Go again, inhale forward, exhale lower, stay there, and push back. Again, inhale, 
exhale forward low plank hold it and push back last one time please make your best effort now ready inhale exhale go forward lower hold for three two one push back sit back on the legs head down relax okay sit with the straight legs please deep breathing deep breathing long deep breath keep long breath up okay. just keep your legs slightly outside the mat wider with a straight back please make sure the back is lifting up straight inhale raise arms up exhale to the left side head towards the left leg as much as possible don't strain your body inhale and come up exhale to the right side go to the right side head towards the right leg try again inhale up exhale go to the left side keep lengthening the spine forward longer towards the left inhale up exhale to the right side lengthen 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 head towards the left right leg inhale up and exhale down okay join the feet together now join the feet try and do the same forward bend give a nice compressive a uh, movement from the abdomen pressing the thighs get the abdomen to gently press on your thighs ready raise arms up inhale exhale bend forward just hold the big toes and see if you can bring your abdomen gently compressing on the thighs lengthen the spine head towards your legs inhale and come up exhale Now we are going to modify this pose. Give a little bit more challenge, right? So we lie down, raise the arms up. So from here, we inhale and come up. Exhale and forward. Inhale up. Slightly hunch the back and roll back down, right? Try to roll back down. Ready? Inhale and come up. Roll up. exhale and hold the feet bend forward inhale up then you slightly hunch roll back down to the floor ready keep going 10 times roll back you up come forward head down inhale up slowly hunch roll back down to the floor inhale exhale up inhale exhale forward inhale up exhale and slowly roll back to the floor again roll and come up inhale exhale and forward come up again slowly roll roll and go back again inhale up exhale forward inhale up exhale and slowly roll back down inhale up exhale forward last one exhale and slowly back come back up slowly exhale and forward These are really effective pose. Again, you can feel the abdomen working out to go let you go back slowly to the floor. You engage to the full intensity and slowly release that intensity as you lie down. Then to come back up, engage your abdomen, hip flexors. That's what brings you back up into a seated posture. Right? 
deep breathing here long deep breath so the Purva Tanasana complete front body stretching pose you can do this as a modification in the table pose raising the hip can be one option you can also keep your palms flat engage your glutes back muscles thighs roll the shoulders back as we come down ready others if you can let's do this three times with the straight legs as much as possible try this with the straight legs later you can switch it back to bent knees if you find it very difficult ready arms to the back we inhale then as we exhale raise the hips press your toes down hold it for time four keep higher three two and one deep breathing let's go again breathe in breathe out keep higher keep your glutes back muscles active five four three chest up two and one come back down you can also gently move your wrist move your shoulders reverse and let's do one last time please make your best effort you can always do this with bent knees i gave you the modification before if straight legs very challenging do it with bent knees let's go breathe in as we breathe out hips up head back keep your shoulders back muscles strong 5 4 3 2 1 one come back down gently move the wrist well twist right and left three times one two and three oh okay. please lie down on the back just take a few breath lying down on the back now this one really strong posture to strengthen the abdomen improve the straight strength of the abdomen shape hip flexors also partly the quads right so make your best effort here so you can watch me first then you see how much you can do inhale raise arms up as we exhale i hug my right leg come up raise the left leg up let go of your arm keep your chin knee closer inhale and come down so when we sit up we did this sit ups before with the forward bend that's also a really good strengthening pose here then we switch to the back strengthening now we come back to a deeper roll where when you lie down really flat raising the lower legs raising the upper body these core muscle gets a really strong workout ready let's go this is a variation of bhavana muttasana nirlamba unsupported version of bhavana muttasana inhale raise arms up exhale hug your right leg give a tight squeeze left leg up 45 degree angle shoulders down let go of your arms hold for 5 4 3 2 and 1 relax take a deep long breath deep long breath try the left side breathe in breathe out and hug the left leg come up chin close to the left knee raise the right leg up 45 degree angle let go of your arms 5 4 3 2 and 1 relax deep breath again one more deep breath again
Let's do the right leg again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hug the right leg. Chin close to the right knee. Left leg straight. Let go of your arm. Come closer with your chin and the knee. Five. Four. Three. Come up more. Two. And one. Relax. Try the left leg last one time. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, hug the left leg. Come up higher. Chin close to the left knee. Slowly let go of your arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Take long deep breath here. Long deep breath one more time. One more breath again. One more breath again. Up. Now let's do this back the glutes high strengthening pose this is also a really powerful pose improves the strength the shape of your thigh also activates your glutes lower back muscles after this sequence we move on to a, a few sequence of stretching postures so you might feel a bit tired you might feel tense but as you start stretching you can see the body is beginning to feel lighter right that tiredness will go away ready bend the knees arms down extend your shoulders and arms down now raise your hip as high as possible in the bridge pose right leg to the center press your right leg shoulders arms into the floor then raise your left leg up pointing to the ceiling hold for 10 9 at least 5 seconds 8 7 6 5 four three two one relax long deep breath again okay now just take the leverage of the palms pressing the floor the foot pressing the floor we have already done a lot of leg postures before in standing so the legs are naturally you might feel weaker with this posture but just try to work with that. These are all horizontal strengthening pose where you lie down flat on the back. Let's go left leg now. Breathe in, breathe out, raise your hips up. You can squeeze the shoulders under the back, left leg to the center, right leg up, palms down. One, two, three, hip up, four, five, six, seven eight nine and ten relax a deep long breath again deep long breath again right leg one last time please breathe in breathe out raise your hips up right leg center Slowly raise your left leg up. Keep the right leg. Give a strong push into the floor. One, two, three. Keep up. Four, five. Breathe normally. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax. It's a variation of the bridge pose. Setu Pandasana, which is raising one leg up. Variation. Deep breath. One more deep breath. Very good. Left leg last one time. Inhale, palms down. Exhale, raise your hip higher. Left leg to the center. Hip as high as possible. And raise your right leg up. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, and 10. Relax. Now again, all these are really high intensity pulse. You can always choose to skip one time. You can always reduce the number of counts. Or if you actually feel very tired, completely skip the pose. It's okay, right? Now hug the legs, a very loose hugging under the thighs and roll up and down 10 times. Just massage your back on the floor. Massage your back on the floor. Seated cross leg, slowly bend forward, head to the floor. Inhale and come up. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale and bend forward. Head to the floor. Inhale up. Exhale. How are you feeling so far? I hope you're all feeling okay. So just keep deep breath after each posture. Let's sit cross-legged or right leg on the left thigh. If you can't do half lotus, just simply sit cross-legged posture. Right hand on the floor to the right side. Raise the left hand up. Exhale to the right side. Come up again. Inhale. Exhale. Keep extending the left side of the body. Very good. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Come back up. Take a deep breath again. And let's switch sides. Right leg down, left leg up. Sit very straight as much as possible. If you can't do half lotus, just choose to sit cross leg. Left hand down. So inhale first, right hand up. As we exhale, left hand down. Just nicely stretch, extend your whole right side of your body. Inhale and come up. Exhale to the left side. Keep extending, keep extending the right side of the body. Last one, inhale and come up. Exhale to the left side and keep extending the right side of your body. Come back now. Relax. Breathing focus is very important. We do some energizing, detoxifying breathing technique. So here, just rest your hand on the abdomen. As we inhale, you feel like the lung is expanding, pushing the abdomen out. As we forcefully exhale, the abdomen is contracting in. Right? Breathe only through the nose. Don't open the mouth. Do it with your own rhythm and the speed. It doesn't have to be a, a very fast process, right? It can be your own speed of the breathing. Right hand on the abdomen. Let's go. Forcefully inhale, abdomen out. Forcefully exhale, in. Ten more times. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Activate the dormant prana energies in the body, improving circulation to all corners of your body. It really helps release tiredness, fatigue, or the soreness that you might feel the next day if you actually do breathing at the end of the sequence. 
arms chest open wider keep your chest raised up forcefully inhale raise arms up forcefully exhale down Five more. Relax. Place both hands on the knee. Close your eyes. Simply become aware of your breath. Do an alternate nostril breathing. Hold your index and middle finger in your right hand and close your stretch your other three fingers. Start with closing the left nostril. Right now, as you inhale, contract, lift your pelvic floor muscles, and as you exhale, relax your pelvic floor muscles. Right, remember to do this pelvic floor muscle contraction which will help you to awaken the dormant energy. It also activates the fire in your body. It also raises the dormant pranas, right? So, right hand, the ring finger touching the left nostril, closing the left nostril. Start with exhaling through the right. As we inhale through the right, contract, lift your pelvic floor muscles. Exhale through the left. As you exhale through the left, slowly relax your pelvic floor muscles. Inhale through the left. As you inhale, contract and lift your pelvic floor muscles. Slowly breathe out through the right. As you exhale, slowly relax your pelvic floor muscles. Let's do that three more rounds. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Slowly breathe out right. Inhale right. Slowly breathe out left. Inhale left. Slowly breathe out right nostril. Last one more. Right inhale. As we inhale, we contract, raise your pelvic floor muscle, squeeze tight. Slowly breathe out to the left. As you breathe out, relax your pelvic floor muscle. Inhale through the left. As you inhale, raise, squeeze your pelvic floor muscles. Exhale through the right. As you exhale, relax your pelvic floor muscles. Just bring your arms to the knees, close your eyes. Just for a few moments, become aware of your whole body in the seated position. aware of your surroundings. Become aware of the very subtle movement of your breath. Simply let go of all your tension, worry, fear. Have a deep intention, deep desire to bring positive thoughts, positive actions, positive attitude towards life.